Alright, so if you are part of the Depth Color Clarity team, these are the pieces of science gear that you're going to be using while you're on board. So first off, we have the sounding line. So basically a heavy weight attached to a string. If you're using this gear, what you're going to do is lower it over the side of the boat. And you're going to keep unwinding line until it goes from tight to slack. You're going to keep track of how many yellow knots are underwater. And each yellow knot is representing one meter, so about three feet. So that's going to give us the total depth in the water. The second piece of gear that you're going to be using if you're part of this team is the Secchi disc. So this is designed to figure out how clear the water is, how far we can see into the water. So you're going to start to lower this gear until you can't see that black and white pattern any longer. So when you pull it up just a, li a little bit, you should be able to see that black and white pattern. When you lower it down again, it should disappear. So again, the yellow knots are representing one meter of distance. And this time you can notice that we have blue marks as well. So we have a quarter meter, a half meter, three quarters, all the way down to one meter. Okay, so we'll be a little more precise with our measurements on this piece of gear. The last thing you're going to be asked to use is the 4 alleyole color scale. So this is a way for a scientist to determine the color of a body of water. It's an international scale, and the way that we're going to use it is we're going to put it the secchi disc halfway down to where it disappeared. So let's say it disappeared at 4 meters, you'd lower that secchi disc back into the water until 2 meters, and that's where you take this out. So when you're looking against the white background on that secchi disc, you're going to see which of these colors matches up to it best. So it might be a yellow color or a green color. Each one has a Roman numeral and that's what you're going to record in your data sheet. So all good scientists will have a place to keep track of their data. You will as well. So on your clipboard, you're going to record all of your information that you're collecting, um, including your names and the date while you're out here sampling. And you're also going to have a binder, so if you need a reminder of directions, you can refer back to that.